Marti. Or Marti. So I'd like to introduce Fabrizio, who will talk about actors in the home. I yeah. have no idea what it is, but we're going to find uh, out, right? Okay. Not sure that. Well, mainly this talk is on. Um, of applause, please, for Fabrizio. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, the talk is to explain uh, what is changing in, the, in these days, in this year, on the home automation. In the past, uh, we had um, home automation ma mainly based on, on wild cable in the wall and no phone. I can speak a little bit louder, but no phone. Um, as I said, in the past, we had many proprietary protocol, but was mainly uh, designed as a PLC, no more controller than, than real Internet of Things. Today, we have a lot of solution, very cheap, that you can control what you want, sensor, actuator, and so on. <coughs> now, let's, for example, in Intel Edison, you have a dual core with wireless inside, that is probably four centimeter. The same for Sparco IO, that has a really small chip, and Bundabad probably is quite famous for many of the Internet of Things guys. The problem is we have the device, but we don't have the technology, or rather nothing changed in technology of the 80s or 90s. We have mainly one solution for home automation, is a central coordinator. You have a central station that get all the information and take the action. Single point of failure, but it's not, it's not the Internet of Things that we are thinking. The second solution that's like Spark.io, uh, they try to collect the sensor, the uh, IoT, in the cloud. But there are also other vendors, but mainly our hardware, single vendor, a little bit close, is not really Internet of Things, from my point of view. Then I start to think how to create um, home automation and keep decentralized, high availability, because probably you don't like to restart something if your light doesn't work or your heater doesn't work, no. Um, the problem, okay, that we have a giant, uh, a big step ahead with the new devices because all the devices has wireless. But on the other side, you don't have much CPU capacity if you want to keep the, the price low. Thinking and thinking, at certain point, come up in my mind the university and the actor model. But okay, that's in the last year, probably also uh, is quite hype on, on the IT. Uh, how many people knows what is the act actor model? Well, that, that's 20%. Well, first of all, it's not a person that acts. No, this is not related to acting. But it's a mathematical computer science uh, where try to define a new approach. Main principle are no sharded state. That is perfect if you want to build a distributed system. Second, have to be light. This is perfect for IoT, where you don't have capacity. And also has to be asynchronous, because you're, you have sensor around, you have events. You don't have something to court. You can sta stay to wait forever. No, this is a complete a synchronous environment. And the other two that are quite uh, interesting are, OK, any process, really, really light process, as a mailbox, where they can receive the event, where they can receive the message. Simple message, if you want to something, you send a message, and you have a state without any shared state around. From this model, it's quite simple to figure out a wonderful home automation where you have a lot of small actor, this is the, the terminology, that has a single function. For example, you can have a, a sen temp sem temperature sensor that's sent to a thermostat, that's a thermostat based on information received, start another actor or send a message to the valve to close and open. Same for alarm, same for the light, no, you turn on, turn off the light, and you can also create scheduler. No, that is a, a great abstraction. You, you don't think about uh, hardware. You think about functionality or better. That is not correct. Probably someone can kill me if I say that actually is a functionality. But 
what I want to say is that you have a huge, all this ball around that go left and right. But the main problem is how to find, because many implementation of the actor model in the language that we have is inside of the uh, VM. That is simple to find the mailbox if you are in the same VM. I don't want that. I don't want to find the actor that is around somewhere. That's, that's introduced the problem that is not solved and I try to solve to on the lookup mailbox. No, you have a lot of ac actors around because it could be that you have the actors inside of your device or you have a Raspberry Pi that expose actors. You can have a lot of situations. The basic idea of my implementation is to divide, uh, first of all, define a domain. That mainly is a DNS domain. Inside of the DNS domain, you have a small cell. Inside of the cell, you have an actor. Each cell exports a JSON RPC interface. That is really simple. And all the actors are controlled by the arbiter that is a supervisor of the actor. But the problem of the mailbox is not solved here. Then I try to find uh, or create a registration service. I build a registration service on top of the console. Console is really small that can is possible to run in Raspberry Pi, for example, or also in Edison. And it's a no SQL, very light and no SQL distributed system with the draft work coordination, the text of the failure, and so on. That means each cell can run or not depends if there are enough, enough instance of the registrator inside of the domain. The registrator gives you the mailbox that you are looking for. How it works? It works quite simple. First of all, I need to figure out the IP of the registrator or the console cluster. Then I use zero, zero conf. I have also DHCP that you can return some information from DHCP if you have an infrastructure. In my home, I don't have a DNS infrastructure that I don't want to put on it. Then the lookup of the IP of the service locator is come from the uh, zero dot com. Then the, the cell, or better the actor, depends on the operation. First of all, I have to find the console cluster. After that, he can retrieve the mailbox or the configuration. Everything is in the console. That's, I, don't have comp I don't have to make configuration inside of the, of the cell because the configuration of the cell is in the side of the registrator. When you have the configuration of the other of, or, or the address of the other actor, you can send your message. And this can be in any cell. You don't, you don't care. This is a transparent layer to made the lookup of the of the mailbox a small demo i hope okay i start the server and the server, well, in the debug mode, the domain is my house. The cell name that I'm starting, because this is a single cell, is a Rasb1. And yeah, the, the bootstrap type that I want, the, the way that I want to catch the console IP is 0.com, uh, zero conf, and the local IP address is localhost. OK. First of all, the process try to figure out if there's already some console somewhere. Some okay. If there is some console uh, DB, then I made the lookup, and I didn't find any registration. Then I start a new console, a new server locator. I call because it could be that in the future I will I will change it with other solutions. After that, I verify that I announced correctly that that this console is up and running, and ge I get the configuration of the of the Raspberry of the cell, and then I get the JSON. Everything is JSON in my in, in my implementation. When I found the configuration that I can show you, cell configuration Raspberry one. Uh, okay. 
you can yeah unfortunately it's a little bit small you can see okay i want to stay on this part and i have this actor in my in in my cell if i go back to the startup i've seen this resolution each element is uh, getting the configuration of the of the actor and a start the actor. Also, the configuration of the actor is inside of console. And then I prepare and I starting the the actor system, the uh, uh, the worker or yeah the ambiter. Now what I can do, I have defined for this small demo uh, four actors. There are valves, one temperature and one thermostat. I can use a simple com common line, for example, this one. I want to get the status of the valve. Then I define, now I query the system with only the name. That could be the UID, depends. You can put the name that you want, but have to be unique because you are in SQL. There's no SQL. Uh, I run the first things run, um, executed by the command line is to find the mailbox and find the second, no, I find the address of the mailbox where is also the, the actor, and after that I get, I get the position of the valve. I can also set the position of the valve to 60. Ah, my fault. This is a little bit better. Mm. Okay, then <coughs> it's a simple way to, to have the control of, of the device no. that you can set and get. That is mainly the protocol. The protocol is uh, divided in set and get and in channel. Because in the one device could be that you have multiple operation and up to you decide if you want to use a different RPC code with a different name, with a different actor, or stay in the same actor with a different sub function. But I don't want to expose multiple function on the actor. Actor has simple get and set. This is covered most of the case. Another case is the thermostat. And the thermostat, um, is a, sp is a special actor because it's a scheduler that is, is executed every minute, like this one. This is a more example. I run thermostat <laughs> one. I get the configuration thermostat <coughs> one. In the thermostat one, let me check the configuration. We have where is the sensor and where is the valves. What happened here? If I start, doesn't work. Check. Yeah, zero dot com. Uh, yeah, this is probably every ten seconds, or I have to reduce a little bit. Um, first of all, they get the configuration and it's broken. Then this demo, I probably I don't have to run again. Uh, yeah, that that I prepared before the. Um, what I want to show you is that mainly you get and send message and then you keep the balance between the temperature that you have in the, in the room and the, and the status of the valves. Let me check again. No. I will see later. Okay. As I said, protocol is Based on RPC base, and we have mainly three element channel command that is only set and get, and the payload that's the string that of the element that you want to send. I have two main configuration: the cell configuration and the actor configuration. Is at the moment entirely in Python. That's uh, with the console that you have to install the console and install some module Python, non, no, not binary, other binary library as pure Python. And you can write 
an actor with a really few lines because everything is handled by Pulsar that is an implementation of the actor one of the implementation of the actor in, in, in Python and as you can see there is okay a small in it but mainly you receive a message because you are a rep PC then you have defined if you have a multiple channel this is obviously you can do in many other ways but uh, which channel and after that you can apply the command if you have a Raspberry Pi with the I G GPIO that is enough that you ha know the, the port and that you can put the port all the configuration of the, your hardware is directly connected in the in the JSON configuration okay um, what I build with with uh, this system at the moment I have mainly three elements this is, is coming soon um, one for control or heating and, and, and uh, emergence or uh, security and, and other small stuff based on homematic, then have a bridge on the, on the homematic protocol based on, on the Raspberry Pi. Um, I have an Edison board with some sensor uh, that I use to catch the temperature or the wind or um, also some, some movement and also the light. And I have um, API, API, API main board that is mainly in a gateway. This wireless, all the elements are connected by wireless, and the wireless is dedicated to, to the control of the house. Um, I have also, I still have uh, some small X10 around. In the, in the future, I will have also Z-Wave Z to control some power meter because there are more power meter. What I want to show mainly that you can decide to use the hardware that you want. Uh, you don't have to care, you plug in. You can build your, your actor and immediately you can control and, and, inter and connect all the system. Like this morning I've seen a really uh, wonderful thing on, on uh, based on zero MQ that I'm thinking on move there. Uh, at the moment it's quite uh, really naive and there are a lot of things that I want to improve and I'm starting to work in special way on the reincarnation and migration of actors. At the moment, I define the actor based on the configuration. This is static. I want the actor can be able to go around on, on different hardware if the hardware has the, the capability. And also, I like to have the failover that, that also for, for uh, I want to turn on my light all the time. Um, the last one that is quite simple, I want also to avoid any preload of the configuration or whether the ad actor software. I want that uh, when you have to start, when the cell decide which, which actor have to start, uh, um, have to download also the code that you have a, a automatic deploy your last change and, and also m reduce the time to prepare the hardware. Um, I like to also optimize a lot of mm, the protocol because the JSON RPC <laughs> is not the best way, probably is not the best solution, but at the moment it's really, really simple. Uh, yeah, I like also to try to a way to collect the event and create alarm. Question, that's, that's if there are questions, otherwise. For the, well, the support in the, I repeat the question. Repeat the question. Why, um, at the moment, the software is based on Python, and one of the plan is to, to move from, from Python, uh, because uh, honestly, it's really fast to prototyping. Really, really fast. That, I want to show you, uh, well, as I said, you have seen already uh, the actor, but the entire code, the entire code, also the supervisor, I don't know uh, who control and start the, the actors is 20, 30 lines. That, that's uh, it's quite amazing. Yes, the actor in Python is a little bit of pain. That is true. And, but also I have to, 
if you want to move on, on the embedded device, you have to, to figure out if it's supported or what is supported. At the, at the moment, I think the Go language is quite uh, simple to go across all the platforms. But I want to think bef on it before to move completely on, on the Go language. Uh, because other language, I think, is too difficult to, to run on small hardware. I have a question, Fabrizio. Yes. Did you look at DRAM 2 yet? No, but from this morning, well, yes and no. Yes, um, in the beginning, and mainly I have also to figure out how to keep the number connection and request, well, this is the next step, uh, small as, mm, as possible. And I believe, well, zero and Q, no, you have to open and close. Well, it's you have to wrap a little bit around on that. I use for other stuff, that is great. But this morning I've seen your presentation about that I think is the is really, really what I'm looking for. I have to understand how to put in the actor model. Uh, this is the, I, I will check because I never seen before. I, I, I searched something, I searched um, some solution. I didn't find for this reason I started. And also I didn't find uh, your solution on the based on the protocol. The protocol is the, the biggest part because in special way for example, uh, Homematic that has a, a broad uh, number of devices that are based on battery. And they really have a high, um, well, they, they put a lot of small uh, feature to reduce the, the uh, energy consumption. And I believe we have to do the same for uh, Internet of Things. Then reduce the number of connections, reduce uh, the energy user, that means reduce the traffic. There is some compliance that um, uh, I think for the 833 megahertz, uh, that you have to stay below 1% per hour of the transmission. And I, I try to figure out something, some target also for a for, uh, um, system that is based on wireless. Yes. One more. Um, is uh, is there any consideration on security? I know that it's, uh, it's early, early stage yet, but if I understand correctly, uh, now it's mostly dependent on the underlying network security? Um, there are two parts. There are two parts, but yes, um, security is complicated on the IoT. And I've seen, well, I, I use Omatic because probably most of, of, of the people use Omatic, well, the people that know is quite, quite from, from Germany is quite famous. Um, when they introduce, well, if you use the security that is an encryption, you spend 200 milliseconds instead of 10, or I don't remember exactly. Um, I was uh, secure. Uh, console has an SEL, then um, first of all, uh, the actor are not able to change the configuration. No, that means other cell can't change the configuration. And this is quite important. On the message level, at the moment I don't have, I try to figure out the usual uh, sharing key somewhere, like, like teaching, that, um, most of the device that appearing like Zeta Wave and so on. But I like to find a way uh, that the operation are to be really simple, fast, and probably you have to um, figure out a way to deploy in a massive way because IoT could be that you have 100 devices in your home. Then I have to think on it. I didn't find a solution at the moment. Uh, to dedic a, ne a dedicated network, uh, avoid to change any configuration on the on the on the on the yes on the console and yeah that's um, I don't know if it's public I have to be a shared key and this is a mess. Thank you. Yes. I like to introduce uh, zero and Q. Well, I'm thinking on it. Well, replace the protocol, remove the RPC, J JSON RPC. Or also in that case, that is transform layer. I have to understand better the format of the package. I like to keep simple, uh, like get and set, and, and the concept of the channel, because I've seen this is around. And I have to figure out the new devices. But I believe the get set should be covered 98% of the case. Also. For example, the scheduler, you set the profile. In that profile, you have the time frame, the schedule of the time frame when you want to change the temperature. Okay. 
if when you want to shut down the device or the sequence of the device that have to be uh, shut down. Then it's quite agnostic and for, for IoT at the moment is Thank you. Thank you.